Clutch Trucker filled me for a live and furry studio audience. That's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. And I always give Rusty a treat for helping me out do the, you know, doing the opening and the closing. And I, I ran out of the, uh, I, I had snossages for a while, I ran out of those, and then I had the canine carryouts, and I ran out of those. But what I do have that he likes a lot is these munchies. Mm. Peanut butter crackers, baby. Peanut butter crackers. Come on, Rusty. Come get it. Right up here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, YouTube. Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Uh, I had a real long drive today. Um, started out in Missoula, Montana at 2.30 this morning. Two, yeah, about 2.15, 2 actually, is when I fueled up and did my, showed my fueling pre-trip there and then made it all the way over here to where I had to deliver today in Bismarck, North Dakota. The exciting Bismarck. Um, anyway, uh, I had a load of uh, engines that I picked up over there in Tacoma uh, on Monday. So I delivered here to the uh, Bobcat. You know, everyone knows what Bobcat is, right? You know, the skid steers and stuff like that. So I had a load of engines going to them that I had to deliver today at 2 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, when I started out at 2.15 this morning, that gave me exactly, well, just under 12 hours uh, to get there. So I stopped for one half hour break, which I have to do, right? And I stopped real quick also for another break just before I got here. Of course, on my paper logs, I have to show um, 15 minutes, even though I stopped for literally like three minutes. I stopped at a place a half hour from here, ran in, went to the bathroom, ran back out, and got over here so I could make my 2 p.m. appointment time. But uh, yeah, drove, uh, let's see where it is on here on my trip thing, 778 miles today. Okay, do the math, that's averaging 70 point, you know, three, four, five, whatever miles per hour for the whole trip. And of course, you know, I'm going up and down hills in Montana and uh, smaller hills in North Dakota, at least once I hit North Dakota, but that was only the last 160 miles of that run, I was able to run 75 miles an hour. Of course, I actually ran about 76, 77. I have my own little personal rule. I never do more than three miles an hour over the speed limit, no matter what it is. And, you know, I'll be like in uh, Indiana or something, and, you know, this, Indiana's got, boy, don't get me started on Indiana. The whole zone from Indianapolis all the way to the Ohio line, they've had as a 55 mile an hour work zone for, uh, what, 18 years now? Okay, it seems like that. Um, before summer, it was in the spring they started that. And they're not fixing the whole road they're just doing little patches here and there they don't really do much and you know by next spring they're all going to be busted up anyway on the other hand ohio their first 10 miles in ohio they completely repaved both sides and they got it done in like two months the whole thing indiana take note that's how it's freaking done anyway Back to what I was talking about, about Paris, France. Don't worry, I remember. Okay, yeah, so, uh, yeah, 778 miles. Uh, yeah, I was rolling. I was rolling hard. As hard as a truck would go, you know, like I say, but I don't go more than two to three miles an hour over the speed limit. Oh, I know what I was trying to say about the Indiana thing. Is in zones where it's like 55 miles an hour, okay, I'll kick it up to 58. That's my top. Because uh, I don't I don't feel like paying tickets. I don't want to get the attention and someone else is always going to be going faster Some other trucks always going to be passing you by all these trucks who are governed at 62 65 miles an hour You know that I'm always passing when the speed limits higher in those zones They're always flying by me and I'm like yeah, go ahead, buddy get the cops attention Go ahead. You pay that ticket. You lose your job. You lose your insurance Not me That's why I found if I stick to my own little rule two to three miles an hour at most over the speed limit, I never get hassled. Now, all you guys locked into trucks at 62, 65 miles an hour, believe me, if it's 80 miles an hour, I'm going 80. I may even go 81. <laughs> like South Dakota, you can run 80 down there. Wyoming, a lot of where, you know, where I live, you, you can run 80 on a lot of that. Uh, now, of course, you know, depending on conditions and weather and all that, uh, and also if I'm driving into a big headwind and I've got a heavy load, yeah, it's just throwing money right out the stacks if I try to go that fast. So, you know, there's times where, since I'm paying for the fuel in situations like that, yeah, I'll back it down. This truck's happiest at 68 to 73 miles an hour. That's where it seems to get the best fuel economy. But um, anyway, yeah, so I was running real hard today and I could have, now I'm on paper logs, I could have made that 778 miles on an e-log. I've done it before. 
you know, it's you got to really do it just right. Uh, like as soon as you hit the top and off ramp, you knock yourself off duty. You don't you don't let it tick down any more time. But um, I did it, you know, legally on the uh, paper log. And when I showed up to the receiver, I had literally a minute and a half left. So and then I just whipped over here to the uh, Stay Mart in Bismarck uh, after I got unloaded because at that point I just used PC for that and it was only four miles away and again I have to show 15 minutes even though it only took five and a half to get here but I showed 15 minutes um, PC off duty to roll on over here to the uh, Stay Mart in Bismarck. All right, for those of you curious then here's how that log looks. See there's 11, 18, 20, 20, 778 total miles. Uh, there I went out of the sleeper berth at 2.15 a.m. dropped down to on duty and that's where I showed fuel and pre-trip Missoula, Montana. Then got on the road at 2.30 and I drove for one, two, three, four point seven five hours. Uh, so I had to take a half hour break so I did that at 7.15 right there in Columbus, Montana. Took the dog out, went inside, went to the bathroom, uh, grabbed, uh, I don't know, some sort of food they had in there. Then 7.45, drove for one, two, three, four, five. 0.75 hours. That's where I took that real short break right there in New Salem, North Dakota. And like I say, I, I had to show 15 minutes even though it only took me literally like three to four minutes. Uh, and then I showed my last half hour of driving, which meant of course on my paper log, I had to show I didn't get there till 2.15. Really, I got there like 2.04, something like that, okay? And then I went, dropped down and went into unload Bismarck, North Dakota up into the sleeper berth, okay, while waiting for them to unload me. Then once they were done at 3.30, then I shot up to off duty, and I show that down here with a little flag, PC to truck stop, okay? Because I'd run out of driving hours. I, I ran my whole 11. Then I dropped back down, I show 15 minutes to do that. Of course, that only took five, but I gotta show 15. So at 3.45, drop back down to sleeper berth, where then I showed, parked, Bismarck, North Dakota, and then sleeper berth all the way, rest of the way back over. So there's my totals for the day. 24 uh, hours adds up. I'm recapping, by the way. And that's what this is for. Like there, that was yesterday. 7.25, 8.75 the day before. 6.75, blah blah blah. So then what you do at the end of this day? I had 57.25 hours on the week. I uh, had 12.75 available for today. I drove or I was on duty and driving 11.5. So I'm going to have to add that to that 57.25. Okay, the way that's going to work then is I have to add that 11.5, like I say, to the 57.25, which gives me a total of 68.75. Doesn't give me much left on my 70, does it? But I'm recapping. So tonight I pick up those nine hours right there which gives me a total of 59.75 uh, left on my 70 for the week because you take that one off. So I'd have 59.75 for tomorrow. So then in that section right there, for tomorrow, I'm gonna show total hours in the week, 59.75, but I subtract that nine, like I said earlier. So that will give me 10.25 available for driving and on duty tomorrow. So I won't have a full 11 tomorrow for driving. I'll only have 10.25. And of course, I've got to go, I've got to do a pre-trip. I've got to pick up, which means I'm really going to only have 9.75 hours available to drive tomorrow. Just thought I'd throw, show this to you because, you know, you need to know how to do a paper log, uh, drivers, even if you're on e-logs, because what if your e-log craps out on you? You got to know how to do these. So I just thought this would be a good opportunity to show you, uh, you know, and maximizing my hours today how I yeah I depleted my full 11 but yet was still able to use PC to come over to this truck stop after I got unloaded because I was out of driving hours but I was still allowed to use PC to roll over here to this truck stop but you have to do it in the on duty or off duty position and that's where you saw me shoot it up there to the off duty line on my log and I put the little flag down there and noted it. If you're on an e-log, e you would do the same thing. You would put yourself in off-duty and you would put in a notation saying PC to nearest truck stop. And now here's where the, it gets hairy with e-logs. What if it kicks you on to drive after rolling, you know, more than five miles an hour? Well, that's where you got to take it up with your e-log company and your company. And how are they going to handle that? They probably have to go in and fix that manually later. 
which is a real pain in the arse. But, uh, you know, anyway, that's how you legally log it, the way I showed you. And recapping, uh, showing you that on the log, that's something everybody should know how to do. And like I say, drivers, you need to know how to do a paper log, regardless if you're on e-logs, because it's going to crap out on you at some point, sometime. And uh, I know a lot of DOT guys have been hearing from people who've been pulled over for inspections, and they're saying, hey, by the way, show me your paper log book just in case, you know, your e-log craps out, you need to have one in your truck, so show it to me. And I know some guys have gotten fined because they did not have one. You have to still have a paper log book in your truck, drivers, even if you're on e-logs, because it will, everything electronic craps out and takes a big dump at some point, doesn't it? So you need to have one in your truck. You may never use it, but you gotta have one. Okay, like I say, parked here at the Stay Mart in uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. Got to go pick up in Jamestown, North Dakota tomorrow. It was originally, originally scheduled to pick up today, but when we booked it on Monday, I had told the broker at the time, you know, we may not have be able to make that if you have a tight schedule. And I, they called me this morning and said, what's your ETA? And I said, look, I don't deliver until 2 p.m. So it's going to be, so let's assume they take an hour to unload me. I won't be over there till at least 4.30. And she said, oh, well, they're really only going to be there till 4. And I said, well, can we pick it up tomorrow? She said, yeah. I said, great. So I'll just let you know how the unload goes. And when I got to the Bobcat, it looks like they were going to take a little while. I called her up and said, look, I'm not going to make it by like 4 or 4.30 because it's an hour and a half from here. So let's just do this tomorrow. I've got plenty of time now to make it the next 1,930-odd miles uh, all the way to Boston's where I'm going from Monday morning 6 a.m. but I've got plenty of time to make it so even if I pick up tomorrow still plenty of time tomorrow's Thursday today is the 18th tomorrow's Thursday the 19th Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday four days to do 1900 miles not a problem that's actually four easy days or three a little bit longer days that's the way I'm gonna do it that's the way I prefer to roll because then I get more time to rest I'd rather do three long drive days and have a little more time to rest in between that's my style. That's the way I like to do it. If I'm going to get out there and drive, I'm driving. I'm going to kind of maximize that clock. But like I said earlier, I only have 9.75 hours to drive tomorrow. But looking back at my log book, tomorrow night I'll pick up seven and three quarter hours. Uh, then uh, Friday night I'll pick up seven hours. Saturday night I'll pick up ten and three quarter hours. Sunday night I'll pick up six and three quarter hours. So I'll, I'll have plenty of hours with the recapping to make it all the way out to Boston for the 6 a.m. delivery Monday morning. I did put a poll up on my uh, on, the, on the Clutch Trucker channel thing. Uh, I know a couple of videos I want to do coming up. One about cooking in your truck, one about the ultimate purple seat cushion, you know, now nine month later review, and a lot of people say, let's do, let's do both. And I, I will do both. But more people want the cooking one first, so over the weekend I'm going to work on that one. So that should be coming up, and you can look for that coming up this weekend. I'm still trying to figure all this out, uh, but, you know, we're getting to it. So thanks, everybody, uh, for uh, answering. But, yeah, that cooking video will be coming up, cooking in your truck. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, as always, uh, please subscribe. I know a lot of you are new to the channel, and uh, as I said earlier, I've got over 200 videos on here. Uh, and I'm working on figuring out the whole playlist thing, so just, just bear with me. So it'll make it a little, a little easier to find things based on different, uh, you know, categories, and then then it'll keep uh, flipping to the next one, so that'll help you out. Because I, I just finally figured out how to try to start putting those together, but I haven't had the time. So bear with me. Yeah, I'm a 53-year-old guy. I'm still, you know, new to all this. I'm still trying to figure it all out. Apparently I've got a coffee account now. I, I have to look into more of that. One of my son's friends is trying to help me out on all this. They, they've got me on a TikTok, which I haven't done anything on yet. I've got the Instagram. I've got the uh, the Twitter. Uh, the Instagram and the Twitter uh, are all uh, just Clutch Trucker at Twitter, Clutch Trucker at Instagram. So, you know, I, I'm trying to update everything as much as I can and do all this thing. But it's, you know, I'm an older uh, guy, you know, it's, it's I got to figure it out. So bear with me. Hey, like uh, if you want to, uh, comment. I do get your comments. Sometimes it takes a day or two because I'm a working truck driver. Uh, ring that bell for notification. As always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out.